everybody welcome back to my channel it's julie here also known as mrs england's emporium <laughs> so before i started filming i've been listing it's it's early morning at the moment rob's just took dex to school and i thought i'll get a few things listed and it's absolutely boiling so i got some kitchen roll mopped my brow and then started the video without putting this in the bin. <laughs> so I do apologise for being disgusting. Um, as always, this channel is authentic. It's not scripted. <laughs> it's not um, predetermined what I'm going to say. I don't have any idea. I just pick the camera up and I go. And you know that. And I think that's why you like me and you keep coming back. So thank you. <laughs> anyway, if you enjoyed the video, please consider giving me a big thumbs up. It really helps me out. If you haven't subscribed already, why not? And hit the bell for notifications um yeah so i'm doing a bit of listing now i've got a jacket over there look what i've just done on the table and i have a light box coming today and um, i asked in my group about what people used to list and i was looking at um this this is me all over making things more complicated than they need to be i was looking at getting like an l-shaped wooden device shall we say so two pieces of wood basically into an l shape that i could fold um and i could move around so i could put them anywhere on a table on the floor and i can list anything on it and then someone said to me well i use this and it's amazing so thank you to naomi for that um so i've got this light box coming today now i mean i can't do clothes in it granted but i can do all my bric-a-brac pretty much it's quite a decent size i'll show you it when it gets here but I'm excited to get it and see what happens with that and how my listings will change. I did put into my group my link for my shop and I asked for any constructive criticism. And a lovely lady basically said to me, please don't be offended, but your pictures could do with having a brighter background so you can see stuff better. And I totally agree. I kind of just work with what I've got at the moment. And a lot of the times my photos aren't as good as I would want them to be. Um, but I have to just do what I can do. But now I've got this light box, I'm going to whip things from around the house and redo my pictures. Even if it's just the first couple. Or even just add a couple more in um, to the ones I've already got, but have them as the front picture, if you know what I mean. So I'm going to be doing that over the next few days when this comes. Or probably the next few weeks, to be fair. I'll just do a few here and there when I can. And um, yeah, hopefully... It'll make my listings better. I know it will anyway. It'll definitely make my listings better. As long as it gets here and it's working. We have really bad luck with getting things that seem to be broken, even when we buy them brand new. <laughs> Not for reselling, for personal use. Right, okay. I suppose we better get into it, aren't we? Let's see what the day has to offer. I have some interesting things to show you what I have sold today. <laughs> I love it when I sell the weird stuff. So, another bosun head has gone. This is an Irish one, I believe. Um, just under £10 plus postage. Not bad. Isn't he beautiful? Warts and all. Gorgeous. Um, I've sold the clown because the foot is missing. He has gone for £7 plus postage. I mean, I'm happy because I got him for free. Saved him from a, going in a bin and getting thrown away and now he's going to a new home so that's all good i've sold this avengers figure um not sure what it is i can't remember but he's gone for just under a tenner plus postage um i obviously knew what he was when i listed him <laughs> i can't remember now i am sorry going through a bit of a stressful time at the moment so um i'm forgetting things but yeah you those that know will know um this white stuff skirt I bought this when we went to York a couple of weeks ago. Sold this for £11.50 plus postage on an offer. And this clock, this is one of these clocks. I'll show you because I've got pretty much the same one up here. One of these, but it's brand new in the box. Um, I have sold this for £30 plus postage on an offer. It is a plastic dome, I will add. Um, but yeah, they still sell. So don't stick your nose up at plastic like I used to. Rob bought one before. And um, I didn't think it was worth anything and he sold it for quite a lot. And I've ended up paying, I think I paid £3 for this. And it's gone for 30 Happy days. Let me know what you think in the comments. I mean, 
what we've done because our sales were non-existent we've put our dispatch time back to one day so i think that's what's done this basically um so yeah just be careful with your dispatch times if they are over one day it can slow your sales down apparently which i've never heard of before i've always been three days but we went from three days no from one day to three days and sales stopped for both of us very bizarre so i have parceled everything up rob's carrying the box and we've got a box here and this is full so I've done pretty well today i'm gonna go have a look at the charity shop so stay tuned for hopefully a bit of footage right. and have a look into the house hospice see if they've got anything different well most of the pictures are gone i cleared that table over there the other day <laughs> nice little teapot there all these little houses and my candle houses up at the top let's go see what we can find having a look in the upstairs let me know if i've missed anything there's a lot of noise outside because there's workmen what pictures? I wish I knew more about pictures. Helmet, uh, bags of stuff. Let's see if I can find something that isn't gonna break on the way down the stairs. <laughs> yeah, we're back. I just went to hang out my washing and the washing line snapped and fell all over the garden. <laughs> so that was fun. But I've got some stuff to show you what I picked up anyway, so let's have a look. Right, here we are. Um, ignore the tablecloths and the cookbooks at the back, they are nothing to do with it. This is what we picked up today. So I've got a couple of things for myself. Um, this is a like a play suit. Um, yeah, nothing exciting. Then we've got this vintage t-shirt, which is for sale. £3.55, extra large. Um, I believe this is single stitch. Um, let me know if I'm wrong in the comments, but I think it is. Um, I will show you the logo. There you go. Canada, the coolest country in the world. Nice t-shirt. Not sure how much that will be, but who knows? Then we've got this really cool hoodie with this real nice graphic all over it. Um, what is this? What is it? It was £4.55. It's an extra large and it is stars and stripes. Um, yeah, it's got all these... We're in the pipe five by five. Right, I don't know what that means, but yeah. There's something moving and it ain't us. Yeah, it's a pretty cool hoodie. So yeah, bought this dress for myself as well. So I won't bore you with that. This is a Barbara Lebic, Lebic coat. Um, this is a size, a UK 14. Um, I, don't, I know it says it there, but I don't like to go buy that because sometimes it is wrong. £5.75. I mean, it's got like a, almost like a PVC type turn to it, if you see what I mean. But it doesn't feel it. It's quite fabricy. But yeah, it's nice. Um, don't know how much I'll get for that. I've literally just sold a white stuff skirt, as we as you would have seen if you've watched the video. Um, size 18, £3.25, this one. And it is a reversible one, the same as the other one. This one has the trees. What are they? Let me know in the comments what you think. But it also has lizards or iguanas or whatever you want to call them on the other side. Look, look at those. Amazing. Um, love that. It is white stuff. The label's inside. Um, yeah. So hopefully 12 to 15. The last one I sold went for 11.50 on an offer, but I was feeling generous. So I'll let it go. Um, picked up this cup. I know it doesn't look really exciting, but it is a Wittard of Chelsea mug. Um, these can go for around £10 each, paid a pound. Um, this is like a really nice gravy boat, Pyrex. Um, I love the pattern. That was a pound as well. I bought all of these figures. They are, what is that? Las Zilla Espanqui. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, all of the all of all of the um spring, summer, autumn and winter, they're all here. The only problem is with these is that she 
Miss Spring, is missing her thumb and a thing and a tip of a finger. But the other ones are perfect. Now, where we bought these from, these were a pound each. He was going to throw that one away because it's damaged. And I said, please don't. I'll take that one as well. And then at least I've got a full set and I can disclose that that one is broken. Um, sets of these are going for around £80. <laughs> so really happy. I'll show you the bottom. Spring. Um, yeah, it's a limited edition. They all are. Um, they're lovely. Again, don't know whether I'll get that for them or not. We'll see. I've got these two lovely Labradors. Um, Rob bought these. They're very heavy. Um, these were a pound each. They haven't got any markings on them, but they're really cool. I think they'll do well. Three Pyrex dishes, all very different. Vintage ones. Um, we've got this one that's got this pattern on it here. We've got this one with this pattern on it here. And this one with this pattern on it here. Um, don't know how much they will bring. Obviously, I'm going to have to list them separately because they're different patterns. But I don't know. I think they should be good. And then I've got these Blowfish wedge sandals in a size 4. Um, they were 5 75 Really nice. Love the pattern of the wedge. Um, red on top. They haven't been worn very much at all. I mean, I think I can easily get £20 for those. Let me know what you think in the comments. Yeah, I'm pretty pleased. Um, let me know if you've come across these figurines before and what do you think of the doggies? I love the doggies. I think they're so cute. I'm always going to pick up vintage Pyrex. Um, and the shoes are cool. Mug is cool. Happy with the clothes, although clothes are the bane of my life at the minute. I really don't like listing them, but they make money. So what can you say? <laughs> anyway, let me know in the comments what you think. Oh my God, it's so warm. Right, okay, I've got a couple of questions to answer. So the first one is from JPKVale1514. Thank you for your question. Just a question about claiming bills, etc. Do you have to declare to your insurance or contents and building you run a business from home? Thanks. So the answer to that really is um, most insurers do not in require you to tell them you work from home. However, if you have started a business from home and you have clients come into your house or you store products in your home, you should inform your insurer. Now, they will probably turn around to you and say you need business insurance, um, but you need to get advice on it because it takes a long time to sort it out, basically. Some home insurers will help you and will insure you. Some of them will pass you on to someone else. So it all depends on who you're insured with and what their policies are. But ring them and tell them it can't hurt. See what they say. But you need to have an idea of how much your stock is worth to you if it got damaged. Um, so you need to have a ballpark figure. Um, I know you can't exactly have a full on figure or a, you know, an, it has to be an estimate. But if you estimate and then they give you a price, go from there. Um, hope that helps. You know, I always say that boxes are numbered and I know where everything is. Well, I have a confession to make. We have reseller confessionals today on this channel. Um, I have stuff that isn't in boxes that are numbered. And I kind of just go with it that I know where things are. So in here, with all this bubble wrap stuff, it's a perfume bottle I've sold. So I'm going to have to go through all this and find it. Yeah. And none of this stuff is marked up on the custom skew, as I tell everybody else to do. Because it's do as I say, not as I do, you know. We all do that, don't we? Sometimes I just get lazy. And I run out of space in boxes. <laughs> more importantly but yeah i'm going to find this perfume bottle which is going to take me a while i mean luckily bubble wrap is somewhat see-through say hello to stitch everyone if you don't know about stitch my daughter Haley drew him and painted him on the back of a um it's like a chipboard for the back of a bookcase and um, we got rid of a bookcase and she was like oh i'm gonna draw something on that and she did this and i've put it on my wall isn't it fantastic? Freehand as well, I will say. There's no tracing or anything here. I love Stitch. And my daughter is fantastic. She's going to uni soon. I'm going to be a state guy. She's going to have to support me. I need you to be my emotional support people when I have another child move out. <laughs> Still got decks. 
but he's driving me mad at the minute. I might send him to uni with Hayley. We'll see. Um, anyway, better start trying to find the bottle in here. <laughs> right, got some sales to show you. You can tell whose sales are Rob's and whose sales are mine. Yeah, I'm terrible at keeping things neat. Um, bearing in mind, I will be folding these nicely when I put them um, into the packaging. <laughs> anyway, I'll show you what I've sold. So, we'll go with Rob's stuff to start with because it's here. Um, right, so we've got here a... Is that a Henry Lloyd shirt? No, it isn't. It's Jeeves, Jeeves's from Savile Row. Hang on then. Right, that has gone for £15.99 plus postage. It is a 17 inch neck. Um, yeah, Savile Row shirt, long sleeved. Nothing really exciting, but it's okay. And then we've got this Bell's whiskey t shirt. That has gone for £10 plus postage. That was in a size large. This really cool, cool, majestic baseball jersey. It's a kid's one, size 10 to 12. Um, this has gone for £16.99 plus postage. Trying not to undo the lovely folding. <laughs> I'll be like that. Oh dear, I've done it wrong. Lambretta t-shirt. Um, this is a 3XL. Got a lovely graphic on the front. Um, let me show you. There we go. That has gone for £12.74 plus postage. We've got these lovely men's um, golf shorts in a size 36. Um, they have gone for £21 plus per stage. Then we have the Henry Lloyd checked shirt. That is a size large as well. There's the, there's the uh, label. Dear me. <laughs> £16.99 per stage on that. Okay. Oh, and we've also got this suit jacket which has just been brought into me. Um, one second. This one has gone for £30 plus per stage. It is a Florentino made in Spain, size 44, regular, fly and sport, grey wool blend jacket. It's got nice buttons. Yeah, £30 for that. Happy days. Okay, so now on to these. I've had a few vintage sales as well. After saying that vintage doesn't work and that I haven't done my spotlight wardrobe and I haven't sold anything on there for 84 years, I've started selling stuff again, which is really good. So anyway, Vandal shoes. Um, yeah, can't show you them. I will put a picture on at the end of this clip. Um, they have gone for £14.99 plus postage on offer. They're really nice. Size 6D. Um, they're like slingbacks in like a bronzy gold colour. This perfume bottle is a part of a bundle I bought from the car boot for £10. I've already sold one for 30 This one has gone for just under £10 plus postage on eBay. Yeah, very happy with that. This is one of the ones that had a bit of damage to it as well. Look, there's a hole in the um, squidgy bit of the atomizer and there is some markings on there. But yeah, somebody wants it, so that's great. This has been doing my head in. I have nowhere to store it. It's been moved around the living room so many times. I was worried that I'd forget where it was. Anyway, <laughs> it's gone on an offer, £17 plus per stage on eBay. Um, hasn't been listed long, to be fair, but I'm happy it's going. Right, this dress. This is a Lipsy Michelle Keegan dress um, in a small size. I think it's an eight, if I remember rightly. Uh no it's a size 10 and um, this is what um noel sent me in the box that i bought off him and it has gone for 30 pound plus per stage so really happy with that prom season is upon us so i think that's why that's gone this is a large women's gilet um i think it's more than a large i think it's like a size 20 i think it is um yeah it's really nice bought this a while ago probably about not even a month ago. This has gone on Vinted for £12 plus postage. Really happy with that. And this has also gone on Vinted. This is a Phase 8 linen jumper um, in a size 10. And um, this has gone for £10 plus postage on Vinted as well. 
and I've also sold another coat, would you believe it? Um, regatta, size 14. This has gone for, I think this was 12. 12 pound plus postage on eBay. So yeah, people are buying coats. I've sold more coats this last couple of weeks than I have done probably all of winter. But I suppose people are thinking forward, aren't they, to the next season and when it's going to get cold again. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. I will put a picture of these shoes on so you can see what they are. And yeah, I'm going to parcel all these up now. So I've been and dropped off the parcels at Everett and then just been in here and dropped them off. I'm just waiting for Rob now. He's walking down the street. See if you can spot him. <laughs> it's got solution for me. Yeah, so we're going to pop to the charity shops and I will show you if we get anything in the next clip because there's only so many times I can show you shop windows, isn't there? They're the same because they don't seem to be changing them. So if I do show you, it's different. Right, so we're back and I've bought a lot of footwear. <laughs> right, so I'm going to go through what we've got and show you how much I paid and I might be able to tell you how much i'm gonna list things for i'm not really sure um some of this stuff is stuff that i've bought before some of this stuff is yeah i've never got it before so i don't know what it's worth and i just thought you know what i'm gonna take a chance on it right all these ties here are rob's these were 75 pence each so i'm going to go through these quickly we have a mickey mouse one which is really cool and we have one with butterflies all over it. They're all really funky. We do love a funky tie. Um, I'm not sure about the material content, but I won't go into that because I know you'll all get bored very quickly. Um, teddy bears. Oh, I love the teddy bear ones. Look at that. Teddy bears all over the tie. And there's another one with bears on there. That's really nice. And another one with bears on there. Yeah, 75 pH. Mr. Men one. Um, let's have a look. Mr. Men and Little Miss, it says there, yeah. And then we've got... What is this? Oh, it's Goofy. Goofy with an umbrella. Um, another Mr. Man one. And what's this one? This is cool. Are they clowns? They are, aren't they? I hide that from Sammy when they come home. <laughs> okay, yeah, so that's the ties. Um, this was free, basically. I had this um, thrown in as a freebie because it's something they'd had in the shop for ages. Um, just a little vintage doll. Don't know whether it's worth anything. Hasn't got a label on it or anything from what I can gather. Um, I will have a look, but it's like a porcelain face and it's got a hard body, but then spongy arms and legs and uh, don't know whether it's worth anything as such but i do like a doll so yeah i brought him home with me so let's name him tell me what we can name him in the comments i think reginald is a good name let me know what you think okay four pound fifty for these a rika or rika the wood rika in this weather wouldn't they um anti-stress like they're like trainer shoes um yeah they're pretty cool. I do pretty well with this brand. They're not too bad. Um, they're a size 7, it says on there. They don't look like a 7. Oh, they are, yeah, 40. Euro 40. Anyway, they've got like this really nice, um, shiny, almost like scaly material. And it's like metallic. It's a pink colour. I don't know whether you can tell. Don't know how much I'll get for them. I'm hoping at least £20. And then these ones are Lily and Skinner. I've never seen this brand before, to my knowledge. Some of you will probably go back on my videos and be like, I'm sure you've bought that before. <laughs> I don't think I have. Anyway, I comped it and they're pretty good. They do have some marking, but I'm going to give them a clean off. £4.50. These are a size. I don't know what size they are, actually. They're a €44 Euro made in Brazil. They're £4.50 anyway. They're a big size. I don't even know what a 44 is. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to have to look that up. But, yeah, they're huge. Huge. Um, and if any of you do have a size 44, 14 euro, I do apologise. I'm not being offensive. Um, Steve Madden. I bought a pair of sandals exactly the same as this the other day. And they were blowfish ones. 
and they're exactly the same style but these are steve madden i think these are a four as well so i won't be surprised if they came from the same person um three pounds 75 i can't see i can't actually see um a size on these but they do look like a size four to me they're very small but yeah i'll find the size anyway i mean Steve Madden shoes, I'm not really sure how much I'll get for them. They're in really good condition though, really nice. And they're obviously bang on um, trend for the season. Um, holiday and anything like that. Yeah, I think they're good. They'll be at least £20 in those, I think. I've got this. This is real nice. This is a Frank Usher London top, um, vintage. It's got, um, it's 100% pure silk, made in India. £5.00. 75 and look at the detail on this it's beaded it's sequined it's got this like v bottom with all the beading around it it's beautiful um i don't know how much i'll get for this i need to do some comps i used to sell frank usher quite a lot haven't sold it for a long time it's got the shoulder pads in as well but just look at that detail and it's really heavy as well what do you think I should list it for? Let me know in the comments what you think. Um, I'm going to have to do some comps and see what I can find. LK Bennett's. Now, these are just a basic pair of plain beige shoes. They do have some markings on them, but I'm hoping I can get that off. I've got a lot of cool cleaning stuff now that I'm going to use and hopefully clean these up. So they're brilliant. £4.50. Um, these were in there, they were in the Dove House last time I was in, I think, or the time before, and they were £10, and I wasn't paying that. Um, but today, I've gone in and they're there still, and they've got a 4 50 tag on, so that is more like it. Um, yeah, because look, they're not exactly perfect. I mean, there's a chip out of there. The soles are good. Um, yeah, somebody can do something with that, I'm sure. But yeah, um, made in Spain, real leather. I don't know how much I'll get for them because like I say, they have got some markings on. I need to see if I can get them off and I need to see about sorting this heel out. Um, but yeah, not bad for 4 50 Then I got these. So took a took a chance on these. I didn't really do much investigation into what they were worth. I did Google this one. Um yeah, these flowers make me nervous. Steve in the shop where we bought it from, he said to us, you know, make sure you have it upright and don't put anything on top of it because they will break. So we took his advice and we've actually got it back in one piece. It's lovely. Um, it's a figurine and it's quite a big one, if you can see. Um, of a, Is that a lady or is it a girl? I'd say that's a lady. Um, and it is, is it Nadal? handcrafted spanish porcelain um it's a big one now the comps are all over for this i need to do a lot of research on it it costs four pound and i'm hoping my money is safe um it's really really great condition but yeah as for the value i have no idea and then i've picked up this just because i really liked it it's just a globe a wooden globe I don't know whether it's got any age to it. It's very light, um, but I just thought it was cool. It's got actually got an arrow going through it, which is really cool. Um, I don't even know whether it's old. I'd have to get Rob to check that out and have a look. It looks old, but it might just be old style. Um, I mean, everything on it, it just looks like it's, you know, just a reproduction old globe, if you know what I mean. Very lightweight. But somebody somewhere will love this. It's really nice. It's a talking piece, isn't it? It'd look good in someone's office. Yeah, I like it. I think it's good. Anyway, £4 paid for that. So let me know what you think in the comments. Would you have bought these things? Do you think you can sort a heel out on a pair of LK Bennett shoes? What would you list the Frank Usher top for? I mean, would you have got that? I mean, I know it was free, but... What am I going to do with him? <laughs> um, what about these shoes? What size is the size 44? Help me out. Um, would you have bought that for £4? Nadal figurine. I think it's nice. Um, 
And what about the globe? Let me know. Let me know what you think. I think the ties are really cool. I think Rob will do really well with those. He has such a good eye, especially when it comes to men's clothing. He gets things and I'm like, what you bought that for? And he's like, it'll go for loads. And it always does. Um, yeah, I'm hoping I'll do well on the shoes. I think they're pretty cool. Um, like I said, they need cleaning up, but I have the stuff. So... I'm going to give them a clean and I will probably show you on a later video when I do get them sorted whether the marks have come out or not and what I've used because I think that's all really helpful information. Um, yeah, so I'll see you on the next bit. I ain't really got anything else to say. It's not like me, is it? <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd do a broom. Never works out well though. Um, right, so um, I always say I'm going to keep... Keep these videos short and yeah, they're never short, are they? <sighs> Doesn't help when I do long pauses. Anyway, um, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed what I put in there. If you've got any questions, bang them in the comments and I will answer them in a future video. Um, I have got some questions already lined up. So I think it's probably to go in the next one. I was gonna put them in this one, but this video would have gone on probably for an hour if I did that. Maybe not that long. But then I do talk a lot, don't I? Anyway, if you watch the end of the video, I'm going to do what I used to do before. I want you to write Breaking Bad in the comments. And let me know if you've watched it and what you thought of it as well. Um, yeah, so I'll see you on the next one. I haven't really got anything else to say at this point. Other than take care, be kind, stay safe, and I'll see you soon. Love you all. Ta-ta!